for hundreds of homeowners over the years. I've taught my kids, Michael and Sherry, that each project is more than just a renovation. We're a family helping other families. That's what building a legacy means to me. Mike Holmes and the Holmes family are back on the small screen with a reboot of the popular show Homes on Homes as the next generation prepares to continue this family legacy. So joining us live now on CB24 Breakfast are Mike Holmes, Sherry Holmes, and Mike Holmes Jr. Welcome to the show, all great of you. Yeah. So great to have you. We don't often get like a whole crew of family members mm -hmm. that are all sure. on TV, so this is very special. I know this new show is a reboot of the original uh, when your kids were still teenagers and now yeah. they're grown with their own kids so this is really you're building a legacy Mike to continue the family business well, here. Well that's what we're supposed to do is build a legacy. <laughs> I mean I yeah. remember when he was 14 uh -huh. the first day on the show and he put the drill into his finger. Oh. And that's true. I, you know, he did. And yeah. I said, happens. I bet you that hurt. <laughs> yeah. It did. It yeah. did. I mean years later it was all about just getting to the work and not ma making you know uh, them in really in front of the camera in the back mm -hmm. working with me learning. And all of a sudden, I was looking and watching the show, and I said, these guys have so much talent. Do you want yeah. your own show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd be spending 10 more years filming uh, to get them out to the public. So the idea is to, you know, building a legacy, pass it on to my kids, and mm. keep doing what we do. And, Mike, you just said something so interesting as we were watching the intro there, and you said you remember all the families in that show. So, mm -hmm. Sherry and Mike Jr., I wonder if you've picked up from your dad, not just it's not just about the work, but it's about the connections. Either one of you can sort of pick that up. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's the most important part of why we do what we do is like these jobs take a lot of time. They mm -hmm. take a lot of work. They take a lot of people. And at, at the end of the day, when we finish these jobs, we're all reminded that like, oh, yeah, it's about helping these families. It's yeah. about the stories. It's about the difference that it makes within their lives. Well, mm -hmm. this series is the reboot of the OG Homes on Homes. Yeah. yeah. And so it's literally the same in the educational aspect, but it does involve more of the story with the homeowners mm -hmm. and with us. And I think that's really touching for us to experience is you get to hear these stories. And it also kind of exposes other issues that people may be dealing with at home yeah. and don't talk about as often. Absolutely, Mike. Uh, for the first episode with this woman, Christina, who has two twin daughters and a bunch of golden retrievers, she was kind of led astray by a bad contractor who really did a number on her backyard. And you guys come in and, you know, turn it into an oasis. I wish I had, uh -huh. you know, homes on homes at my disposal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, but you also, in this show, it's really talking about your own family dynamics. So how is that bringing that kind of personal touch to the forefront this time round. For me, it's what it's about. Again, my family for years has been helping other families. And, and I mean, we love what we do. We love working together. We really do. For that family, it's not that I turned it or we turned it into an oasis. It's that we did exactly what was she wanted in the right. first place. And what she needed. Mm -hmm. And what she needed with her, the girls, the dogs. Yeah. Like, if you yeah. watch the show, you'll understand it. You'll understand everything we did. And that was just what we're supposed to do as contractors do it right make it a, a dream and not a nightmare yeah, yeah. make it right it's on your t-shirt that's it <laughs> yeah that's i mean that it's is those are three arm. words those are key it's on <laughs> okay. your arm it's, yeah. it's an important set of words here and so you know make it right contractors in some cases as we know you know pat pat foreign does these stories consumer alert all the time about these issues like that so how, how do you hope that the the home's name and brand and and strategy perhaps permeates down the line to other contractors because we do hear these stories mm -hmm. time and time again. Look, at in every industry, we have what my dad would say, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's contractors, whether it's doctors, lawyers, yeah. you know, not all of them are out for it, doing the right reasons. Um, but it's just, we're trying to teach people how to hire a good contractor. We're also trying to inspire other contractors to do good work. And there are a ton of good contractors out there. So it's up to us to help the homeowner educate themselves on proper building practices and how to hire better contractors. Mm -hmm. And people can get more answers from Mike and Sherry uh, at the Toronto Fall Home Show uh, on November 16th. And Sherry, before we leave, you know, you're, you're such a strong advocate for women in skilled trades. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important to have more women in this industry? I think as a woman in the skilled trades, I, I remember when I got into it, there was not anyone else. I was yeah. in a room full of men or on a site full of men. And not only is that intimidating, you're anxious, you don't know if you're doing anything right, you're questioning yourself. So it's really important to see more women out there, first of all, to realize that you are capable of doing mm -hmm. this. It is something that you can do. And it's it's the having someone to rely on or someone to look up to and be like, okay, it's not just me. There's someone else in the now industry Now they look like up that. to you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Which I love. She yeah. represents wow. the women in skilled trades. Absolutely. Okay, well, listen, That's good amazing. luck with the reboot of Homes on Homes. Nice to meet all of you this morning, and uh, great to see you here on CTV Life as well. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Premieres tonight at 9 p.m. on Cottage Life. Yeah. Okay.